Know Your Place is an addition and place value puzzle you can do individually, in pairs, or collectively as a class. I'd recommend doing this activity with someone so you can share ideas and strategies. So you can do the activity with pen and paper or using cards. I've chosen to use cards because you can move the values around without having to rub things out all the time. And also for visual display, it's just a bit easier to see the cards than my terrible writing. So how the game works is you need to get to a target number, in this case, 100. And you're placing the numbers in a grid. And this grid in particular, it has four two-digit numbers that will be formed. And they're formed by, you know, as you'd write them. Tens in this case are zeros. So here, the number here would be 20, this number would be 41, this would be 1, and this would be 24. And then we add up all of these values, and hopefully we'll get somewhere close to 100. I've just done it randomly, and then we'll try to make some small adjustments to solve the puzzle. You might have a different strategy, and that's completely fine. Um, the thing I love about this is that people will approach the problem differently, and then they'll get to share their strategy. So it's a good thinking game. And it's also a game that allows kids to have this low floor of, you know, how close can I get to the high ceiling of, can I find all the unique combinations that make it to that number? So here we'll add them all up. There's 25 there, plus 40 is 65, plus 166, 86. So we've gotten to 86 here. And if we think about where the numbers are positioned, this number has uh, a bigger effect on the total than this number here because this is in both tens columns. So if we change that two to a three, we're making that number 30 and that number 34. So we're adding 20 to the total, which will get us kind of close. We'll be on 106 then, which is not bad. Um, however, we can adjust this number here to make that 86 into 100. I'll give you a moment to see if you can see how. So this number is being used in the ones column here and the ones column here. So it's having two effects. So we need to raise that number or the, the total by 14, which means if we increase this number, the value of this number by seven and make it an eight, it makes it seven bigger. So now we're adding seven to this number, which will now be eight. I don't have to rub out the whole thing. I can just rub out the relevant parts and this will become 48. And if we add all of that stuff together, eight and eight is 16, plus four is 20, 40, 60, 100. And so this would be one unique solution to the target 100. The online program that we've created actually shows you how many unique solutions for any given puzzle there are. So you can project that on a smart board and show your students and then work together as a class to see if you can find them all within five or 10 minutes. I'll show you that online program now. Head to games.thinksquare.com.au and then click the Know Your Place icon here in the top right. And you'll get to choose if you're logged in from four different difficulty levels. There's a hundred puzzles at each of these levels. And you get to select the ones that are opened. As you solve them, it will unlock new puzzles. But let's look at one I've solved before. So the target here is 46, and there's two solutions to this. So you could kind of halve that number, and what's happening in this is you're creating a two-digit number from left to right and a two-digit number from top to bottom. That's it on this one. So you could try to say, you know, I'll put 23 and 23 in, but you've run out of threes. Once you use a three, it's gone, so you can't use it more than once. So maybe we go, all right, let's make it a 24, but then you need 22 here and you've already used your two. And so maybe you'll just click in 25 and then you've got the one to put in here. And so that's one of the solutions. The other one will be 26 and 20. And so they're the two solutions. So once you've found both solutions, you'll move on. It'll green that box in the main puzzle menu. And if you're logged in again, it'll record those solutions that you found down the bottom there. This is the easiest level. Uh, so we can move on to the next level. The medium level is what we just saw before. And again, you can click whichever puzzles unlocked. This has four solutions, which is a bit nicer. And I think one of the cool things about this game, it gives kids an understanding of place values. If you pop a five in this top left corner here, the total is already going to be 100 minimum because these act as 50s. So it'll give kids a, this idea of, oh, okay, well, yeah, I need to make it a lot less than that. Um, 
and that narrows down the options that you've got. I guess that's the logical deduction side of things. Uh, the harder ones have three by two as a grid. So you're gonna create, in this case, two three digit numbers going across left to right and then three two digit numbers going down. So uh, again, you just click the numbers and pop them in. We'll pop, I don't know, we'll pop an eight there, uh, five and a one. And we can see whether we're close or not. Okay, so we're at 1478. And you may just do this with pen and paper and work backwards, but this is the sort of thing you can project up on the board with 16 different solutions. There's no way you're gonna find them all, even as a class. And so the activity that's free is a daily puzzle. So if you click this daily puzzle button here, there'll be a new puzzle every 24 hours. So this one has 28 different solutions. And again, it's pretty obvious that you can't have a number that's four or more in one of these hundreds columns because then you'll exceed the target just with that one number placement. So as a class, yeah, five, 10 minutes, see how many you can get in that time. So if you enjoy these activities, you can subscribe and get access to the entire Think Square Game Suite for just a couple of bucks per student. Otherwise, if you're into the printed stuff, you can find the world's most engaging textbook at mathsmate.net slash textbooks. It's full of rich activities, games and puzzles just like this. Enjoy the activity.